So we are talking about now the introduction of the mass communication age. And we say during this period, this is when the introduction or the invasion of the radio and the TV. And this, and this by implication, those mass communication. And uh, since people are communicating different fields and wider span, then we saw uh, more people being enrolled in education. We saw more people being educated. So there was mass, mass, mass education. People started now educating. So this radio became a very, very, very important. Today, the radio is very, very important because the people that are out there in the rural areas, maybe geographically, maybe places that are not reachable and so on. But at least you can play a radio. You can listen to the certain programs and at a specific time, you can listen to a program which can you know, help you know to, to get the knowledge that is required. Okay, so for this, so we saw that like for the radio, the radio became more like better than the TV because TV, it required signals, it requires, you know, in some satellites and everything for it to operate the, the antenna and so on. But for the radio, we saw that the radio were in different types and some of them were just using batteries so you don't need to use electricity for TV. TV, you don't use electricity, you have to use electricity. But for radio, you can put a battery, you can recharge a battery, you can use it for solar. So this, even now, currently the radio is a very, very important component. Uh, I can cite an example, the Minister of Agriculture, right now the Minister of Agriculture, they want to disseminate agriculture information to the farmers, for example, on the prices of, floor price of maize. So they will use a radio, they will record, and then, you know, have a program on the radio on specific times. Of course, you have to look at the times when they should deliver that, you know, information. You can't deliver it when farmers are working. You only deliver it when they have knocked off, you know, around 17, 18 hours when people are at home. That's when such things. So the radio is currently being used, even in many sectors. So these are some of the things that happened in the mass communication. So students is key to understand these stages. Very, very important. And what really happened, OK? Then we went further now to another stage, which is the information communication age, or the computer age, which we are currently we are in now. We are saying computer technology, this one has done wonders now for us. Pay attention to this. It has done wonders. Many people are communicating. And these, all these communication media have been made available to man. They have made available to you and me. Okay, so that is what is born. So we have seen like uh, conferencing, PC to PC, computer to computer. You can conference and share information. You can share. We saw CD, my CDs. There was a period I remember uh, when we had CDs, DVDs, players. Okay, uh, you have a DVD. The material is you know put on the recorded on the CD. And then students or learners can play the video on specific subjects. So this came up. And before this, we had the cassettes. Before the DVDs, and we had the cassettes. Those also, they could record it. And then after the cassettes, now later came the, the CDs or the DVD players. And uh, many programs on teaching and learning were uploaded and were recorded by the you know, by the teachers or by the educator to provide the learning to the students. We had also seen further increase in the touch screens where you even touch. The materials that I'm using right now here, we, this is the stage we are in. We have uh, these smartphones, okay? This is the stage we are in. So we are saying that uh, the invasion of these computers has really changed the way education is done, or it is delivered to the learners worldwide, all over. Okay, according to the study that was done by Akiju in 2002, 
where he looked at computer technology has achieved a wondrous unifying communication media available to man. So we see that he, after he did a study, he saw that there was a number of you know, things or wondrous things that were done and all these communication media were made available to man. Me, you, these are available to us for us to deliver to you, to deliver our teaching and our learning process. So we have this. I can use this one to send the third material by WhatsApp. I can use this one to send materials or assignments or even a test or even exams. We can send this. So computers are now used to package instructions. We have uh, computer softwares that have been put. It has instructions, well-tailored instructions, well-tailored courses which are packaged, okay? And they are packaged in the way that a learner will be able now to understand and use them, okay? These could be maybe tutorials, these could be exercises, these could be exams, and just subject matter, study materials. So that led to the interactive knowledge based on the system. Yeah, so in summary, or trying to sum up with everything and coming to the conclusion, we have to know when the historical students, you must be aware what really happened. What is the historical development of education technology? It started from the Stone Age. What really happened in the Stone Age? We say that in the Stone Age, man was a wanderer. Man was a gatherer and he was using two stones, sticks, for them to do anything such as drawing, or they could use fingers to draw, or writing, and so on. And the drawing and the writing, these were key technology under the, the, the Stone Age period. Because this is a how we have recognized early man for him to develop such a technology. Then we went into the second stage where we talked about the age of the books and the chalkboard. Okay. During that period also we saw there was a study that was done by somebody producing a printing machine. We saw production of books, many books. And I gave an example that previously they, most of the institutions or the learning institutions or the schools, they had the libraries full of books. And if you are a student like you, you go there in the library, you go and ask the librarian a request for a book. You go and use it and read. Okay. We didn't have these phones today, okay? We, we are carrying books. Like I remember when I was in grade, maybe grade 7, I could carry maybe five books to show to my friend that to me I'm a good person who can study a lot because I have more books, okay? So it was that period when there was mass, you know, production of books, okay? And then uh, uh, the blackboard, which is a chalkboard, where the teacher now we are using now to put up writings there, drawings and everything, like pictures and images for people. So this also facilitated in terms of mass, you know, you know, communication and also, you know, more people started having more interest in learning. Yeah. So then further, we talked about it, the mass communication age. This is where you saw the introduction of the TV and the, and the radio. And the, so we say that these they, they have really become good sources of dissemination of information to our learners. So these are very, very important. As educators, these are key to ensure that you have this understanding, you have this historical development of your subject. Okay? So your learners must be able to learn, must be able to understand the key where history came from. Okay? Then we went further to talk about the communication age, which is the age of computers. This is the stage now where we are, we are talking about, you know, we started with the, the tapes. People started now building up cassette radios where they could record, okay, information, okay, and deliver it to the learners, okay. And then later on, we had CDs, you know, DVD players, they came into play, you know. All this was the purpose of enhancing, facilitating the delivery of the teaching okay to the learners so th that is the environment we have been talking about that the environment must be good okay so now that is the so in summary you students you should be able to talk about the early man these key 
phases, Ediman, chalkboard, mass communication, and computer age. These are key, and you must be able to explain them in details. I think we, now, for now, I think we are closing up. We, we are ending this lecture. I think, hope that uh, the lecture was useful for you, Lena. So I think it's very, very important to understand these terms. So as I'm closing, please be attentive. I will, I will come back in the next few minutes. Thank you.